it's Tiana and I'm back today with yet another video and let me tell you guys this one is about to be quite a dramatic one because it is titled pregnant shopper gets kicked out of a store and now I'm out here wondering what is it that a pregnant lady can do that warrants getting kicked out of a grocery store so if you guys are as excited for this video as I am don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and without further ado let's see what this pregnant lady did to get kicked out hey I got the dude what are you doing I love this place. If you eat the food here, you don't have to pay for it. What? Here, try some. Uh, okay. Almond milk, perfect. I have a sensitive diet. Bro, you're spilling it. Oh, what was I thinking? Do you want some? No, let's just get out of here. Okay. Let's see what else they got. Clean up on aisle seven. Okay, so these are basically your average nightmare customers. They're quite literally stealing food and they're also spilling things absolutely everywhere. If I worked in this store, I would be so pissed off. All right, associates, we're having a problem with theft and you all are responsible. We have missing merchandise in every department except garden. Garden? Garden. We do? I don't work there. And you make sure nothing goes missing, especially in groceries. I've been checking the bags when people leave. And you stink at it. That's why I've hired a second person to check on you. That would be me. And since the district manager is coming this afternoon, we have to fix this now. How am I supposed to do that? You need to keep an eye on the customers closer while they're shopping. Yeah, that's what I do. Apparently not good enough. Just do what she says. Yeah, whatever. You know what? Just watch what I do. That's why I make the big bucks around here. Okay, so right off the bat, we have the store manager here who is taking her job way too seriously. This woman is quite literally yelling at her poor employees about preventing theft. If theft is such an issue, get security or like the police to deal with it. She is giving me very much miserable Karen energy and she seems to be taking a lot of that anger out on her employees. Karen is concerned about the amount of theft in her store and has decided to take matters into her own hands. How about this one? I like it, but do you think they have my size? I don't know. Do they have maternity clothes here? They should. What are you doing? Uh, shopping for clothes? Yeah, maybe you should too. That outfit's looking a little drab. Okay, so the pregnant lady came in with the heat straight away. The moment the manager approached her, she just started roasting her outfit. But wow, I did not expect things to be this tense right from the start. At least my clothes are paid for. What are you doing wearing that sweater? Uh, because it's cold out? What's it to you anyway? You can't wear that without paying for it. Uh, it's mine. <laughs> what makes you think she didn't pay for it? If she paid for it, let me see the receipt. Are people not supposed to wear the clothes they buy here? Oh, and I hate to let you down, but I bought it somewhere else. Now I know you're lying, because it's on the rack right over there. What? Oh, this is ridiculous. <sighs> Come on, let's get out of here. Not so fast. I'm going to call security. So Karen, the store manager over here, thinks that she's some sort of like anti-theft superhero. And she's literally going to call security on these two girls for no reason. They were literally just chilling and shopping around when the manager approached them and decided to just start blaming them. If I were them, I would be so mad at her. I really hope they say something. Sorry, ladies, but I'm going to need to check that sweater to make sure it wasn't stolen. What does that mean? That means I'm going to have to check that sweater's tag. What am I supposed to do, take it off? This is ridiculous. The dressing room's right over there. I can wait. Security is actually making her take the sweater off so they can check the tag. I completely understand trying to keep theft to a minimum, but these girls did absolutely nothing to cause any problems. I'll go, you wait here. The manager is so obsessed with stealing that she's making customers prove the clothes they're wearing aren't stolen. Here, satisfied? This says H&M. That's right. I told you it was a different store. I'm sorry, this is obviously a misunderstanding. 
Can we do the rest of our shopping now? Oh, sure. You're, you're free to go. I need my sweater back. Oh, yeah. Will you give it to her? So it turns out that commotion was all for nothing because the sweater was not even from that store. The girl said that they're just gonna continue shopping around the store, but if I were them, I would leave immediately because I would just be so pissed off that they thought I was like this suspicious person stealing things. Let me see your receipt. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, I, I don't have my receipt. That's okay. You could go anyway. What? Okay, great. Thanks a lot. No, sir. We're going to need to see a receipt. Why are you bothering him? It's obviously his. That's why Karen Reynolds hired me in the first place. There's too much merch going out the door without being paid for. Will you be quiet? I'm handling this. <sighs> Am I free to go or what? No! I'm taking you to security! Security? Floyd was going to let the customer go without a receipt, but Gertrude will have no part of this. Gertrude is not letting anything slide. Poor guy just dropped his receipt on the way out, and now he has to go through this entire security check. You would really think by how seriously they take theft that they wouldn't have any theft, but in reality, they have a theft problem, which just makes this 10 times more funny. They're trying so hard, but absolutely nothing is working. So, what's this I hear about you stealing a TV? I didn't steal it, I paid for it. Oh, okay. Well, all I need to do is see your receipt and I'll let you out of here. Like I was trying to tell your greeters, I, I must have dropped it. I understand, these things happen, but this is out of my hands. We're gonna have to call the authorities. Wait, wait the authorities? What, am I gonna be locked up? Listen, since you paid cash, there's no way to prove you bought it. But don't worry, they usually let people like you out after a few months. I really do feel like the store should have some sort of like proof of sale on their end that they sold this guy the TV. If he ended up getting a receipt, they must have had some sort of paperwork too. So where is it at? You can't just call the police on the guy because you think that he stole something. That's not really how it works. Wait, wait a, a few months? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, and I didn't pay cash. I put it on a credit card. Well, why didn't you say so? Just give me the credit card and I can look it up. <sighs> okay, fine. But can we get this over with, please? Of course, if you're telling the truth. Hey man, you want some? No, I've already had breakfast. Okay, five, six, two, three. Oh, Carlini, here it is. Do you see how simple that was? That literally took him 10 seconds to do. I feel like they should check like this every time before just accusing people of stealing because eventually their customers are just gonna start getting very pissed off at them. Also, not to mention, they have a way bigger problem going on right now, which is those two guys just eating all of their food in the store. Like they're literally going from section to section, eating all the snacks, drinking all the almond milk. These guys are quite literally having breakfast, lunch, and dinner in this store. Good news. I was able to print you a duplicate receipt, you're free to go. Finally, this place is the worst. Uh, okay, Timmy. I don't know what a PlayStation is, but I'll be sure to ask, okay? Where did you oh. get that? Hang on, sweetie. Oh, I got this at Macy's, isn't it cute? I'm not talking about the purse pack. I'm talking about your iPhone. You can't use that unless you pay for it. Oh, this iPhone? My son got this for me. <laughs> well, tell him to put that back because it doesn't belong to you. Well, what do you mean? Doesn't everybody have a phone? Not that one. That's the new iPhone. We've been waiting for them to come in. So there's no way you bought one yet. Like I told you, I didn't buy it. I knew it. Security! For what reason is she bothering literally every single customer in the store? Also, there is absolutely no way she would be using that iPhone if she just stole it. Number one, that would just be very stupid of her to do. And number two, she would have to get a SIM card in order to use it. The lady stealing the iPhone just doesn't really seem to make any sense at all. It is actually way more likely that her son got it for her like she actually said. Now Karen is accusing people of stealing just because of their phone. What's going to happen next? Ma'am, my manager says she caught you taking that iPhone. What? I just got 
this, it's brand new. Of course it's brand new if you just took it. What I mean is my son bought it at the Apple store. Why would I get it here? Because this is Big Mart. You can get a phone, groceries, clothes, even furniture all at the same time. Maybe I would be buying all those things right now. But instead, I'm in your stock room being accused of taking a phone. This store is gonna lose all their customers if they just keep accusing all of them of stealing. Why would anybody wanna go back into a store where they're gonna be followed or accused of theft? That does not sound like a fun time at all. Ma'am, why don't we just look up the serial number on it? W what is that, a 13 plus? No, it's a 14 plus. Like I said, my son just bought it for me at the Apple store. 14 plus? We don't even carry that yet. Well, you don't carry the 14 plus? Then I guess I couldn't have taken it, could I? I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, let me walk you out. Uh, actually, I'd rather go get my groceries. Oh, well, I'm headed that way. Let me go with you. Hey, what's she doing here? Oh, she's just getting some groceries. Hey, what's it to you? Well, did you get the phone back or what? Oh, well, it turns out it was her phone all along. Yeah, there are other places that sell phones, you know. She is so right. She could have bought that phone quite literally anywhere. For some reason, this manager seems to think that her store is the only store in the entire world. Fine, lady. You can go. You're lucky I'm so easygoing. Yeah, I'm so lucky. Have a nice day and thanks for shopping at Big Mart. Well, it's a good thing that you're here anyway, because I found out who's been stealing all the food. Really? Are you sure this time? Yes, there's a woman here and she has a belly full of food. Oh, lucky her. I'm kind of hungry myself. No, you don't get it. She's fake pregnant. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that she's taking food and, and hiding it in her clothes? Yeah, and we've got to stop her. Okay, and then can I get lunch? Don't waste any time! Okay, so the manager has a new theory, and the theory is that the pregnant lady is actually faking being pregnant and putting food in her fake belly. I just feel like because the store manager already ran into the pregnant lady and her friend, it would be way less likely for them to be the thieves. Because I feel like after accusing them the first time, if they actually were stealing, they would have definitely left because they wouldn't want to get caught. I personally don't really think the pregnant lady is stealing anything, but comment down below what what you think. There she goes! Stop her! What do you want me to do? Well, she's obviously hiding food in there! Now you think she's taking things? I don't think anything. I just do what I'm told. Well, they're not buying anything. Obviously, they're putting food in there. Karen has figured out that Rebecca is pretending to be pregnant to steal food. Is she right? I think she is just so set on catching someone stealing that she is literally going around accusing innocent people. And babe, let me tell you, if it was me she was accusing, she would get an earful. Cause like what? You can't just go around accusing people based off literally no evidence whatsoever. You're a grocery store manager, not an FBI detective. Calm down. It is so not that serious. Well, obviously she's putting food in there. Yeah, after I eat it. Chip? You have to search her then. I'm not gonna search her. That's a line I'm not willing to cross. Well, then you're fired. I'm not fired, I quit. Okay, talk about drama in the workplace. The security said, absolutely not. I am not searching this girl. And this manager really tried to fire him. Okay, now I'm actually convinced that this lady is crazy. Wow, he sure showed you. You should be so lucky. I'm gonna call the authorities. You don't have to. I'm not stealing anything. You don't have to do that. I didn't accuse you of anything. Uh, yeah, you did. How did they make you manager of this store anyway? <sighs> you know what? Why don't you two go and we'll just forget about this whole thing? Wouldn't that be so convenient for you now that you found out that you were accusing her over absolutely nothing? The girl literally lifted up her shirt and showed her that she has a pregnant belly. And now, of course, the manager is freaking out and trying to switch it up because she realized she was being way too much and way too aggressive. Fine. Let's go, Natalie. You girls are lucky I'm 
so easy going. Hi, I'm here to see your store manager, Karen Reynolds. Oh, y you must be Miss Manning. That's right. Do you know where she is? Yes, she's right over there by the registers. Thank you. Now, carry on with your work. Can you put in a good word for me? Reynolds, there you are. Oh, Mr. Manning, how nice to have you in our store today. It's Ms. Manning to you. And what is this about you hassling customers? Well, this job isn't all butterflies and roses, you know. It seems like your thorns are a little sharper than others. Well, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. In this context, it is definitely not a compliment, babe. Honestly, though, I'm very happy that someone is finally calling her out because you cannot be acting like that. It's no compliment, especially when you're accusing pregnant shoppers of stealing. Well, thieves are getting very creative these days. Well, I don't think the daughter of the president of Big Mart is stealing. Daughter? What are you talking about? And turns out the person you accuse is a member of the Bigston family. She's a Bigston? Why didn't she say anything? Well, I don't think she has to announce herself. And that leaves me with a tough decision. Yes, I think she should be scolded. And now... I have to fire somebody. Oh, don't fire Chip. He tries so hard, and he has the best interest of the store in mind. I'm not firing Chip. I'm making him the new store manager. Store manager? What about me? What about you? You're fired. So the big boss came in and she said, you know what? You are fired, Karen. Turns out that pregnant lady was the daughter of the actual CEO of the store. So it's safe to say that the store manager made a very, very grave mistake. And because of it, she's about to lose her job. I'm fired. I guess I picked the wrong pregnant woman to question. Karen got fired from Big Mart for accusing customers of stealing. What's going to happen at her new job at Lacey's department store? Excuse me, what are you doing here? Um, I'm shopping. We don't have clothes for people like you. What do you mean, people like me? You don't seem to understand. Bergstrom's is high fashion, not some sort of Costco. What's wrong with Costco? Nothing, if you like buying things in bulk. Bulk? What's that supposed to mean? It means... It means you're on your own. Talk about a miserable old lady, oh my goodness. So somehow she ended up getting a new job at another department store and clearly she did not fix up her behavior at all. If anything, she actually seems to be more rude and more aggressive now than she ever was. I'm starting to think that customer service isn't really the job for her. Maybe a job where she doesn't really interact with a lot of people would be a bit better for her. I'm sorry, Mrs. Sherman. I was dealing with a nuisance. That's all right. I called you here today because I have some exciting news. Am I finally getting that promotion? It's nothing like that. Today, we're announcing a new clothing line here at Bergstrom's. New clothing line? What do we need that for? I think a new clothing line is exciting. Well, it is exciting because we're finally going to target a large part of the market we've been missing. Good, because I talk to a lot of customers and they want different type of clothes. Don't listen to her. Customers need to be told what they want. They shouldn't be telling us. For what reason is this woman so angry? Like, how did she even pass the interview process and get the job? It seems like quite literally everything that comes out of her mouth is negative or disrespectful or rude in some way. Well, the decision's already been made. And today, I am pleased to announce we are adding a major new fashion line. And the designer herself is going to be visiting our store. Really? Is it Kylie Jenner? Who's that? I hope it's Gloria Vanderbilt. Well, you're just going to have to wait to find out. And I'm also pleased that the president of Bergstrom's is coming with her. So it seems like there's a pretty big event coming up in her new workplace. Let's see if Karen can keep it together for this one. Honestly, I kind of doubt it at this point. What do you think you're doing? I just going to help a customer? You don't know anything about making commission. I don't care about commissions. I'm a fashion consultant fashion consultant. Go wait on someone else. 
I'll take care of this lady. Fine, you're the department head. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'll be your fashion consultant today. I'm having trouble finding things that are my style. What do you think the fall trends are gonna be? We haven't put out our fall styles yet. The sales ladies, they want to sell the old stuff first. Sophia, just what do you think you're doing? I'm waiting on the customer. Stop giving away our secrets. I was just trying to understand what she likes. Find out what they like? That's not how sales works. I don't know why they didn't just make you the dressing room attendant. If I worked with this lady, I would hate her so much I can't even describe to you. You can tell she loves putting her nose in other people's business. Like, she is literally helping another customer. Why are you getting involved in any way, shape, or form? Like, babe, it is not your business whatsoever. Go deal with a different customer. I'm already starting to get the feeling that she's not gonna last very long in this place either. Dressing room attendant? What is that? That's the person who has to pick up the dirty, stinky clothes the customers have tried on and then hang them up and make them look new again. Okay, Kathy, thank you. I just remembered. I have a return and it's in my car. I'll be right back. Would that be cash or credit card? I'm going to use my gift card. I'll be right back. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, there you are. I would like to get this too. You're not getting anything today. And why is that? Because this gift card you gave me is a scam. What? Well, my grandchildren gave me that for my birthday. Well, obviously your grandchildren cannot be trusted. What? Now get out of my store. Fine. Give me that. So for some reason, the gift card didn't go through. And of course, that really, really angered Karen over here. So much so that she went back to the customer, yelled at her, and ripped the clothes out of her hand. You guys, let me know in the comments how you would deal with this Karen, because I personally have no idea. All I know is that I would lose my mind dealing with someone like that. Oh, it's you again. What do you want? That other lady said I could make a return. Fine. You're lucky I'm easygoing. Let's see what you have. Okay, here you go. Where's your receipt? Um, I don't have it, but I got it as a gift from my boyfriend. There's no gift tag on this. Okay, that's fine. I'll just take a store credit. Do you expect me to believe that your boyfriend could wear this? Oh, I didn't know I needed your approval. I don't know what you're trying to take me for, but you didn't buy this. You know what? I don't have time for this. Give it back to me and I'll take it to another register. I don't think so. Wait right here. I'm getting security. She picks on every single customer and then the moment they stand up for themselves, she's like, I'm gonna call security. This lady is so unbelievably annoying, I can't even describe it. Mrs. Sherman, I'm so glad to finally meet you. Likewise, Mr. Bergstrom, it is such an honor to have the president of the department store here. It's not every day that we introduce such an important new clothing line. It's very exciting. I know, we are so excited. Ladies! And that's the reason why we're putting a big emphasis on fashionable clothing for real women. And for this reason, I'm pleased to announce that we've signed a major distribution deal with the famous fashion designer, Lily Knight. Oh, Lily Knight. I love her clothes. So do I. And today, I have the extra special honor of introducing you to someone who's rarely ever been seen in public. Here she is, the one and only, Lily Knight herself. Wow! Lily Knight is the girl that this lady has been rude to the entire time. And now Karen over here is about to learn a big fat lesson. I also want to let you know that Lily here has been generous enough with her time to volunteer here at Bergstrom's as a secret shopper. Yes, I remember. Really? Yeah, I remember too. And 
As a result of this Secret Shopper program, we're gonna make some changes around here. Sophia, you're being promoted to department manager. Really? Nice work. I thought I was department manager. Oh, no, 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 Kathy. I've got big plans for you. <sighs> That's a relief. That's right, Kathy. You're getting what you deserve. You're our new dressing room attendant. What? So basically the CEO of the company came and demoted her to dressing room attendant. Honestly, if it was up to me, I would have just straight up fired her because she is so annoying. Either way though, I do feel like she did get what she deserved because she was so rude throughout this entire video. Honestly, I cannot even imagine dealing with someone like that. I feel like my brain would just explode. But all right, you guys, we have finally made it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.